What's going on, guys? Fully from Custom Offices. Custom Offices TV on YouTube. We got Dustin back today. Uh, and for the people who got the notifications on, guess what? We got a giveaway. You probably already knew. We got this sweet new shirt. Uh, we teamed up with Rough Country to make this one. So here's the front of it. Grab this shirt. It's going to get you automatic handed to win. Any lift kit from Rough Country up to $2,500, which pretty much includes like any kit they make, including the Vertex coilover. So that's that. We got another episode of From the Gallery. So we're going to take five trucks that were loaded into the gallery at customoffices.com forward slash add. And then we're going to rate them on a scale of one to 10. Let's go. Deal. I like found a sudden burst of energy. Beautiful. 2003 Chevy Silverado 1500 gear alley big blocks. Uh, 33 by 12 and a half. The stone mud claw. Or, what are we starting? I can't that? say I've heard of that. Uh, performance accessories body lift. Three inch body lift. All right. So uh, pretty much black truck, tow mirrors, massive windshield visor, smoked headlights, uh, big blocks with a machine face. It's got probably some plastic dip going on on the grill there. Chrome door handles, toolbox, stock tail lights. I think, oh, and a massive light bar on the bumper. Oh, I how did that. we miss that? Well, oh, it's not oh, in that photo. It's only in one of the photos. All right. All right. It makes sense. Uh, rubs like crazy, but who cares? And he's got two inch <laughs> wheel spacers all the way around with a NorCal mod. Yeah, uh, 20 by 12s on a three inch lift barely fit the way it is. And then you add two inch spacers and Correct. it's going to get difficult to fit. So we have 49 seconds. Three, two, one, seven. Six. Yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of body lifts personally, because um, they stretch a lot of like wiring components and stuff things like that, that and makes stretched, makes right. things sometimes questionable. Mm -hmm. And I don't like the gaps between bumpers and whatnot. However, I don't know if he had his relocation kit, because uh, this bumper looks like it sits perfectly fine, just the way it is. Yeah, everything seems to line up really well. I like it. I think it's super dailyable truck. I mean. It's nothing over the top. I love that it's really, really wide and it's Correct. not really, really lifted. I think that's a cool look. All right. 85, uh, Chevy K10. Wow, really clean. Yeah. Um, 15 by 12, negative 63s. You've probably never heard of that size before. BFG, Mud Trains, TA KM3s, which is actually a relatively new tire from BFG. That's a really nice tire. Uh, 35 by 12 and a half, four inch rough country. Texas truck. Neat. Very clean. I love that photo. This photo just screams like a rock. Yeah, Texas, right. Yeah. Like, mm hmm Got the old setup in the back. Yep. This is a very off roady You have a 15 inch diameter and then 12 inches 12 wide, wide, and then you just have these 12 and a half inch wide tires on there. Big giant sidewalls, regular cab, short bed, little guy, dark tint, mm -hmm. pulling a trailer with another uh, K series on it. How are we doing for time? I don't know why my phone shuts off. Oh, 40 seconds. 40 seconds. We're doing all right. All right. Uh, what else do we need to know? Uh, inch and a half wheel spaces on the back. Just to flush up the track with. Man, I love so that photo, photo so much. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Eight, eight. and a half. Yep. Really clean truck. Absolutely. Love the very functional setup he has on it. Um, it's very simple build as far as what's going on, so there's Correct. nothing too crazy about it. Like I think I would probably like update the headlights, maybe different grill, stuff like that. But that's being picky. Yeah, absolutely. No, I mean. Five it's, seconds. It's super clean. I love it. Oh, okay. Look at that. Funny of time. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, an Avalanche? Woo! 04 Avalanche 1500 uh, Gear Alley 726, which is the big block 22 by 12, negative 44. Some tires that are affordable. Rough country <laughs> suspension lift, six inches, big old roof basket on top. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of a, I don't want to call it snow camo, but it's like a camo wrap. Oh, I totally thing. thought that was like a. Um, a watermark on the photo. I didn't realize that that was. It's a, it's yeah. A, yeah. Oh, interesting. Like played with the Chevy badging mm. on the back okay. too. Dual exhaust. What are we at? North Carolina plates. Okay. Very foggy in these photos. Mm. Veteran. Shout out to you. Thank you for your service. Really do appreciate it. Genuinely, we do. Um, it's got big old. He's got the newer mirrors on it. He's got the bullet antenna. Okay. Okay. I think I've seen what I need to see. Six inch rough country, three inch motor fab keys, about eight inches of lift total. Okay. Okay. 30 seconds left. Uh, three, two, one, seven. Eight. Went with an eight because nobody does this to avalanches other than us. We did it. Um, and we got a lot of hate for it. So <laughs> I really do think it's cool that somebody else stepped outside the box and did something cool to an avalanche. And I actually kind of like the wrap job. It's very simple, but I do like it. Yeah, the wrap is super subtle. I mean, I like it. I, I'm not a huge avalanche fan. Uh, 
But with that being I don't said, know this if one is. anyone really is. That's true. This one's done really well, though. I think it's it's definitely unique, but it's it's super cool. I like it. People called alt card called ours. Oh god. Up. Oh! A bedazzled truck. They used other words in there that I can't say. Ah. Oh. But all right. Okay, so 2007 Toyota Tacoma, American Force tracks, 22 by 12s, Furies, six inch Procon. This is like Willie's truck. Could you imagine if Willie did this to his <laughs> truck? I feel like Willie right now, you guys don't know Willie, but if he saw this, he would just be like, He's just, what? yeah, he, no, he can't. No, He's a very function over yeah. form guy. Yeah. And this is a TRD also. Man, those wheels are stuffed in there. There's yeah, they no are. way this guy can turn. Ooh, was that an off-road picture? Oh! He drove it off the road. With Boys, he's Look got a trailer and a four-wheeler. Somebody called the uh, show wheel police. This guy took his forces <laughs> off. It's got a hidden light bar, looks very clean. Smoked out taillights, uh, suspension has been powder coated and or painted. Got some wheel ring lights in there, it looks like. It's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Very clean truck. I like it. The factory fender flares, sticking out. Don't Correct. look that bad, I think they're right. Stop saying correct. <laughs> Sorry. 30 seconds. Uh, okay, quarter inch wheel spacers probably to clear inside turning. Mm. Three, two, one, Eight and six. Half. I'm sorry, I really am. I just, 35s, six inch Tacoma? Yes, and? Why not? Does it go anywhere? Sure. They're kind of underpowered, and it's a lot of wheel, a lot of tire there. And I just feel you like you you're not going to be able that. to turn it. That's about to go off. Oh, Two, God. One. Here we go. Got it. No, I think it's cool. Um, those Tacomas are really growing on me. I have, wasn't always the biggest fan of Tacomas, but the more I see them, the more I like Dude, them. Yeah, I love Tacomas. I think this is super cool. I do have to say, all right, it does, it does look good. <laughs> I do love that the wheels are stuffed in there. Yeah. But, eh. So I'm so torn between like, I want it to work, I want it to look good. I think everybody plays that in terms of the pace. I don't know that I would own it, but I think it's really cool. I just wanna, I wanna secretly take Willie's truck and mm -hmm. then do this and then give it back to him. He would be so mad. <laughs> right, oh, wow. wow. This guy knows how to use the clarity, <laughs> the saturation, and the sharpness <laughs> slider. Ten, 2010, Chevy Silverado 1500 American Force Burnouts, which was like the most common American Force in 2010. 22 by 12, negative 40s, a Terrell Trailblades, and a TCS 7 inch lift. Very bright. Those headlights, they got something wild going on. Oh, there. yeah. Custom built headlights. Uh, so he's got the traction bars, chrome bumpers, painted inserts on the bumpers, painted mirrors, uh, dual shot conversion in the front. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, that first photo throws me oh, off. Two inch, two inch wheel spaces all the way around too. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm ready. Yeah. Three, two, one, Seven. six. The red. Now, hard to say because the photos are so edited. Correct. But it, there's a lot of red that's just popping out at me. And I don't know if it's because it's surrounded by chrome. Like the red plastic pieces in the bumper, very bright, stand yep. out a lot. And then like the cubes are done in red, the headlights are red, the grill inserts in red. There's a there's a lot of red going on. Ties in well. Oh, I'm not gonna give you any time. Ties in well That's with the uh, polished wheels though, so the chrome and the polished wheels go good. Yeah, I am in the same boat. I think the chrome and the polish look good together. I love the suspension setup. I love the ladder bars. I love all of that. I think yeah, the color match red is just a little too much for me. Yeah, it probably would have looked a bit cleaner just to keep the chrome bumpers mm -hmm. the way they were from the factory. Just our opinion. Still sick though. I agree. Oh, and you got American Forces and then you got a Turos. There's just like, a, there's a blend of many different <laughs> brands going on here. That's another episode of From the Gallery. It goes so much faster when we have a timer. Uh, so sure. sorry if we rated your truck a different number than you expected, but we have no time to think of what to say. <laughs> so if you guys want your vehicle in the gallery, you can add it at customoffices.com forward slash add. Like I said, we got all the specs and sizes and everything that you need to know on like 70,000 trucks. If you're wondering what fits your vehicle, that's where you can find it. Yep. Right? Yep. Right? Right. Correct. Yeah. Indubitably. Yes. Peace. Wow. People Ooh. don't realize it. He says correct a lot. All the time. I said it like three times. And, and I was like, stop it. Now I'm just going to say. Mm -hmm.